okay so welcome back to this course so in our previous video we have seen the introduction of the redux uh, the simple introduction on this video i want to create my store to connect to our application you can see that we have our message here that says that no store found okay so let's create it i simply go to my vs code and in my source folder in this source folder i'm going to create a new file here that is called store.js okay so in the store we have to write some code to connect it to our extension so I first of all have to import some thing from the uh, redux first of all we have to bring in the create store all right we also have to bring in the combined reducer okay so combine reducers then the apply uh, middleware from the redux okay so we have to bring in these two three things from the redux then we also have to bring in the thunk import thunk oops, from the redux thunk that we have already installed in our previous video so after um, uh, importing the thunk we also have to import the compose compose with dev compose with dev tools and we have to bring in from the uh, redux dev tools uh, extension okay so compose with dev tools we have to import this and then we simply have to first of all create up uh, here const reducer so that is combined reducer combined reducers in that we have to pass our over reducers so basically what does this mean combined reducer now in our next from our next videos we are going to start getting the reducers and the actions if you don't know uh, we have uh, basically uh, uh, reducers for every resource like product reducers user reducers so we'll add all the uh, reducers in this combined reducer function and then which will combine all those reducers okay and then after that we also have to put in here the initial state right so let initial state will be equal to an empty object and the initial state contains all the data that we want to put in the state and just before loading the application and we're going to put here the cart items because when user reload the page, we have to quickly put the cart information in the state. So all the information that we want to put in the application, uh, if in the initial state, we can put that here. Okay. And after that, we have to we have to create the store. And for that, I have to also create here a variable called middleware. Okay. Middleware contains all the middleware that I want to use, and I'm going to use only thunk in this case. All right and then simply const store equals to create store and the create store we have to first of all pass in the reducer okay then the initial store uh, initial state and then we have to also pass here the compose with dev tools right so we have to compose with the dev tools and then we have to pass in the uh, middleware oops so i put in here the apply middleware and in that middleware i'm going to spread the middleware array all right so now if you want to add more middlewares you can simply put in the array and in this will handle that and after adding this uh, we simply have to export our default the store okay so this is the basic code of the store.js so we save it now simply go to the index.js file and here first of all let's bring in the import the provider we have to bring in the provider from the react redux okay and then we have also bring in the store that I want to use. So import 
store from dot slash store right and let's first of all uh, put in here this one let's type in here provider okay and then the store I simply pass in here my store that I have created okay so let's simply save it and if I go back to my Chrome and if I reload it so you can see that we have successfully connected to our application you can see that here so best for by, uh, by best purpose online it is now present here so definitely it is empty at this moment we can get our all the state here we get our if there is some difference in the state then we will uh, see that in the uh, div tab all right and all that stuff related to the redux will be available here for us to see okay so i hope that you understand what we had in this video we have simply uh, connected our application with the uh, redux we have also added here our store and now we are good to go